Hey everyone, it's Joanne, and I am back with another Tiffany Tudor video. Pardon me, I'm going to try to adjust this. <laughs> anyway, um, I got a request. I don't think I got it. Hold, wait, let me back up. I um, was asked, I think through a comment, through a purchase on the Tiffany Doodles website, tiffanydoodles.com, and the person wanted to know how to... Um, create how do you color folds and again this is, I'm still not a professional Copic colorer and I still practice a lot so I um, decided to use this image the dancing dress image from tiffanydoodles.com I'll put the link in the description box below and I thought that this would be the easiest one to show you guys how I color my folds um, this ended up being looking like this. So here's the final card for you. I decided to make the card before I filmed the video so I can show you what I did. And let me show you what I did. So this is the dress. Here are my colors. I used um, three pinks to color in the dress first. And I start off with my darkest first. So this is the R. Actually let me show you all three. R85, R83, and R81. So R85 is what I use first. Let me zoom in and see if I can... Wait a second. Nope. You can probably hear my kids down below. So anyway, I started with um, the darkest color first, and I kind of just had to picture where light would hit when it did a little, you know, like a little wave on the dress so I pictured okay well obviously it's not going to be under this part so I color these parts in with my darkest the R85 and then I kind of just had to figure out where the light would hit so I'm just picturing the light coming straight a little bit from the t this way and down if that makes sense so this would probably be the darkest part so I just lightly kind of feather in where I think the light would be like it's the um to think of peaks and valleys I guess so this would be the valley of the dress and then the peaks would be the lightest color so then I take my R83 kind of start blending and working that in I kind of have to hurry my kids don't know what I'm doing right now and if they find out I'm in my craft room they're going to want to play in here and they're going to ask why I'm talking to myself Thankfully, my husband's kind of distracting them right now. I'll worry about the top part in a second. And then I take my R81. Oops. I just have to... And then start blending everything with the R81. Reminds me, I have to probably buy refills for my pinks because it looks like I am almost out and I don't know if I have a refill for this one. Anyway, as you can kind of see, it kind of starts to create some nice definition in the dress. So this part, I, I kind of created my own little pleats that kind of faded upwards, so I just kind of followed the, the black line up. And started blending that around. That was my R85. And then I take my R83 and kind of just work it into the paper so that the pleats just don't aren't at the bottom. Then I take the R81. My goal is to make this video less than 15 minutes. Can I do it? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Now 
there. So you can kind of see that it's blended with some definition. And then I colored the top of the bodice with more of the R85. Like around the flower, just kind of hit it behind. And also, it probably doesn't help that I'm wearing my glasses. You can't tell. But I'm wearing my glasses right now. And I can't see as well. I believe I am legally blind. No one has ever told me that, but I believe I'm legally blind. This is R83. And my husband makes fun of me all the time because I cannot see for the life of me without my glasses or my contacts. And I like wearing contacts better. But with my glasses, they fall down my face, and I don't like that, but it's a lazy day today. <laughs> I don't feel like putting them on, my contacts on. And so, just kind of working in the same colors. Um, you can see that. Just working it in. And then I decided to make the sash and the under of the dress green because those are my favorite combos, the pink and the green. Um, so I take my darkest color, or sorry, Y7, G17. And you guys have seen, I've used this many times. But it's my favorite of all the greens because it's the brightest to me as a color combo. So again, I try to think of where the light would hit and where it would curve. Oh, I use YG13. No wonder. Okay, so then my next color I used was YG13. I thought I picked up 17, but this was on my desk, so this is what I'm going to use as my next darkest color. I usually use YG17. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you guys have seen me use that, but I must have picked up the wrong. Again, told you I'm blind. I must have picked it up off of my shelf. Wrong. Oh, it's actually the lightest. My bad. Anyway, it works out. And I colored these little frilly things on the side with the YG07. Okay, then uh, the other dress. So, again, peaks and valleys. Think of where you think the light would hit, where it won't hit, where the shadows would be. So, under the dress, obviously, right under this part, I know it would create a shadow because the light's coming from above. The top part of the dress is creating the shadow. Ta -da. Then, this part, I just have to think okay, well, that's going to be dark. That's not going to hit the light, the parts where it folds over itself. Um, this part was a little rough, so I just kind of created my own peak and valley formation. <laughs> and then this, it folded weird. So I did that. Then I took my next darkest color, which happened to be the YG07, not the YG13. I kind of blended that in. I don't know if you guys can hear my kids playing. <laughs> Santa just came. And they're loving all their new toys. And I'm not loving the mess so much. <laughs> I need elves to come and clean my house, I think. And all the garbage. Okay. And I take the YG-13. Finally kind of just work it in. And blend them all together. Well, I'm kind of glad I used the YG-13 instead of the 17. Just because, if you can believe this, I don't use it very often. And it's nice to get a workout from some markers you don't use very often. So that's that. And finally, the little flower that is here. I just used one color. I didn't bother trying to make it dimensional. So I just used the V09. So 
So that is the, let me zoom out, sorry guys. So that is the finished image that I colored, the dancing dress from Tiffany Doodles. Here is my final card. I used some um, designer paper from My Mind's Eye. I use my nestabilities to cut these out, the square and the scallop square. This is some ribbon from Ribbon Carousel. I'm not sure who makes this, but I bought mine from Ribbon Carousel. This is a flower from I Am Roses. This is a sentiment from one of those, what is this one? Is it a Studio G stamp? It is a Studio G stamp from Michaels in the dollar section. Um, and then I cut off the corners with my corner chomper. I can't remember which side it is. I think it's the stub side. This side. This side. I love this thing. And that's pretty much it. Created my card. Nothing in the inside for now. But I like to leave it open sometimes because sometimes I don't know what exactly what to say <laughs> when I give cards away. So that is that. You can see more at tiffanydoodles.com to purchase. And you can see everything on the blog at Tiffany doodles.blogspot.com or visit my blog at joeboogie.typepad.com Thanks for watching today. Um, if you have any more um, requests or suggestions or just want to see something or a color combo or anything, just shoot me a comment on either blog and let me know. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.